What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Tomorrow we are leaving for Arizona. No mule deer hunting. And I am on vacation. I'm freaking loving it. Having a blast. Just getting planned for this trip, getting things organized. Um, so anyway, welcome. Welcome to my humble abode. Here's my home. So I told you guys I wanted to do a pack dump real quick. Show you what I got going on here. So kind of starting from the left to the right here. Do a little quick overview. What I got. You already saw the Badlands pack. Talked to you about that the other day. And Hungry Hyper Hiker. Hungry Hiker trekking poles pretty nice. They got these core candles. They are sweet. They're nice. I like them. Very comfortable. Uh, Teton bladder. Water bladder. That's for, you know, just if it gets really hot and we're not going to be doing a whole lot of spike camping or anything like that, I decided to get a, get a bag. Here's my kill kit. It's got an extra Ziploc, a gallon Ziploc in there. In between all that stuff, I can see it. Kind of zoom in. There's um, there's all my bags, you know, my game bags. And this purple bag is my knives, um, gloves, you know, arm sleeves, uh, etc. There's also a uh, a large trash bag, a construction contractor bag. Sorry, contractor bag. Here's my chest pack. Got my. 12 by 50 vortex crossfires awesome so glad I got those in this front pouch I'll just kind of hold this up so this is the Alaskan game sorry Alaskan guide creations I think this is the cub max I know I'm like super zoomed in on that you'll see a lot more of this later but just kind of going through the, the pack here in this side, I've got my dead down noon windicator. Down here, I've got my Garmin 20, 20X GPS. Just got a line in the middle. I'm not sure why that is. Figure that out later. Up here is my rangefinder. This is a new rangefinder that I just got. Nikon. Arrow ID 7000 VR. This thing is awesome. This thing's badass. It has image stabilization and I think it goes out to 1300 yards. I could be wrong, could be a thousand. And just some face paint. <clears throat> and up here I've got a, a lens pen, cleaning up my lenses on my camera and binoculars and spotting scope. This is a just a folding out, you know, thermarest pad sitting on standing outside of my tent you know when it's morning and I'm stretching getting that morning coffee in this is my my cameras set this over here for a sec. so in here I got a storage and some cables sand disk that's 250 gig um, Extra batteries, etc. Lens cloth. Got some other adapters in there so I can adapt, so I can um, connect my phone up and my hard drive at the same time and transfer data from memory cards. On well, my memory cards, two for this camera here. A buddy of mine let me borrow. Thanks, Matt. Uh, this is the Yi. Action cam I was talking about. Got a little. There's a hard case. This that cap actually comes off, but it's just a hard case to kind of protect it. But I don't want to use this case. 
and then more extra batteries. So the Snikon power shot, I've never used it. I've, I've turned it on, but other than that, I've turned it right back off. Um, charge up these batteries just to make sure it turns on. I grabbed a couple SD cards there inside of here, and I'm gonna give that a try tonight and see how that looks. <clears throat> okay, back over here. This is my tripod. I'm gonna use this for, you know, what tripod's used for. My spotting scope, my binoculars, um, hopefully that camera. This is a, a poncho, headlamp, flashlight. This is a stream light. I carry this thing everywhere I go. Let's see if you can get that. Actually, there's not much there to see. Uh, a bandana. This is a face neck gaiter, and this is just a like a chamois, like one of those snap things. This is my cook kit. Show you that. Okay. This is my spoon. Spoon spork. I can't remember what that is or what the manufacturer is. Gas. Lots of gas. And stove. And a stand. And then obviously this is the pot just with the mesh on it. Back in there. Back in there. Cook kit, TP, biodegradable wipes, some sunblock, this is my hygiene, toothpaste, toothpicks, Gerber, uh, survival knife, this is going to be kind of like my daily carry. This is going to help strap my bow to my backpack. Um, here's my spotting, co spotting scope, if I can say it right, with, with a quick disconnect. Uh, mount that fits on that tripod. Um, in here is all my first aid. First aid, I got an extra bandana, extra face mask or face gaiter. I got some pyrethium uh, lotion for bugs, and then I've got you know just fire starter, just all kinds of first aid. I don't really want to open that up. <laughs> extra release. Uh, this is kind of like my tool kit. That's my Bear Girls multi-tool. I got my bowstring in there, all tied up. That's a replacement bowstring. That's actually my old one. So I kept it and just had it, you know, set up to where all I got to do is just swap it out and put it on there and make sure that everything's, you know, still twisted together so I don't lose any length. A little bunch of Allen wrenches that, you know, fit my bow. This is a digiscope mount. For my phone so that I can mount it to here and record some stuff. This is my binocular mount. Let's see another quick disconnect pad for the tripod. This is where all my power supplies are, batteries, um, the side and my hat mount for my cameras in there and I got just some, a couple cables. Um, a filter, water filter, Sawyer. And here is my sleeping bag, a thermal rest pad, and a Sea to Summit pillow. And then this is a two liter bladder that I'm going to have for the pack. Got a pair of Crocs on some paracord that I made so I can hang it off the back of my backpack. And yeah, that's a quick rundown of what I got. I know it wasn't very detailed, I didn't have all the names and stuff like that for you. Hopefully you'll be seeing a lot of that stuff and I'll throw out the names and what I'm using and you know, hopefully help you out. Hopefully you think this is these videos are helpful and you like watching them. In here is my external frame Alps Mountain Mountaineering Pack. It's got a shelf on it that folds down and it's got a bunch of lashing straps so if we need to I'm going to put my Badlands pack on that and then we'll go spike out and then I'll carry this whenever we actually you know need to retrieve a deer or you know, something like that. It, it helps extremely 
well with carrying very heavy loads and I'm hoping that uh, I get to use it. And then that's my, that's my fishing hat. A couple fishing poles in this caddy because we are going to do some trout fishing. So there you go. I wanted to show you something else. This is my house. What's up fellas? So, as you can see, there's no residue whatsoever left behind with that permethrin. Um, I'm impressed. Even on this water repellent, water resistant, waterproof, whatever you want to call it, material, there's zero evidence that it was even sprayed on there. Same with the boots. Now that I kind of understand it's absorbed in. But those things don't even look like they've been sprayed. They look brand new. And obviously that's that's the rain fly, which I kept calling Bibby the other day. I don't know why. I was drawing a blank. Here's the Badlands pack. Scoot back a little bit what I was talking about. It looks fresh and brand new. So I'm going to fold all this stuff up, put it away. Oh, one other thing. It does have a smell. Um... I don't know if it's because it's been my garage and the door's been closed and it's been pretty humid here, but I can definitely smell that permethrin smell, um, like as if it was coming right out of the bottle, getting sprayed. So I don't, again, I don't know if that's because it's been inside the garage, it's been very humid here lately, um, but uh, anyway, wanted to mention that. All in all, so far, you know, it's been great, a little bit of smell. That's okay. It's not like I'm whitetail hunting, uh, where that is extremely important. This might be even extremely important with mule deer, but from what I understand, it's more of a sound thing for them than scent. So, again, thanks for watching. Um, hope you like what I'm doing here, and I plan on putting out as many videos as I can. And you know, stay tuned for the next one. One day left. Tomorrow, we're rolling out. See ya.